Look at this. Your face adorns the cage you used to play football in as a kid. How, how weird does this feel? Not weird. I think it feels amazing. Um, <laughs> not the fact that my face is plastered all over here, but more so the, um, the beautiful bodies. Um, I remember playing here three, four hours a day um, as a youngster. Um, if I'd have seen these pictures on the walls, um, I know it would have made me um, ten times more empowered uh, as a young woman and growing up through school, through secondary school and growing into the, the professional footballer that I am today, I know it would have, would have helped me and I wish, I'd, I wish I'd had this kind of inspiration as a, as a young girl. Yeah, a lot of athletes want to use their voice, want to use their, their for, for powerful, for, for good reasons, I suppose, but it's easier said than done, right? Yeah, I mean, um, there's thinking it, um, there's talking about it, but then there's actually um, providing the, the pivotal change and, and the actions that um, eventually um, actually will, will make the impact. And um, I think it often takes one um, to start that uh, catalyst uh, impact. And um, I hope that I can be that uh, along with my other lionesses um, who are obviously going to the World Cup this summer. But... Um, even just in London. Um, I'm one of the only Londoners in, in the Lionesses team and um, it means a lot being here today, seeing in Bo E3 that um, there are pictures like this uh, around and it's normal and that it can be celebrated and it, that it can uplift um, all the young girls going to school today, walking past and um, that sort of brings a, brings a tear to my eye but more so um, excites me for the future. Yeah, you're talking about being a Londoner in the squad. Obviously, look, a lot is made up about the makeup of the squad and a lot, a lot is being done about sort of changing it with the regional centres and more funding coming into the game. But it is about making people feel emboldened, feel able to be able to stay in the sport. That's also important, right? Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's, it's no uh, difficulty to, to see that um, there is a lack of diversity in the, in the Lionesses squad. Um, it doesn't reflect um, London. It doesn't reflect uh, the country's demographic as a whole. But I think it's not necessarily just looking onto the pitch at the, the team that's filled, filled it out there. It's, it's looking also um, in the boardrooms, um, in the scouting rooms, in the coaching staff, where you also don't see uh, the reflection of society in London in, in England. So I think uh, as a whole, we need to not just look on the pitch, but look on the broader spectrum. And um, like I said, I think we need to do a better job of, of reflecting society as a whole. And... Um, I know there's more change to be come in, in that respect. We're so happy and proud to announce that today we've achieved the first step towards building our legacy uh, after our Eurosman last summer. The government are committing to ensure that every school offers a minimum of two hours of PE per week and uh, they're going to put behind it a generous amount of funding. Now every girl that goes to school can play football in PE at break times and after school as well. And they too can dream to become a lioness. You talked about the success that you and the Lionesses have had off the field. Obviously, one of the most tangible versions of that is the government campaign. You know, equal access to sport in girls in schools. Absolutely vital, and congratulations for everything you've done on that. Thank you. Um, how does it feel when you're sitting there, you know, in, in front of a then Prime Minister, in front of an Education Secretary? How do you... It's a very different sort of feel to, I presume, using your voice on the pitch or even sort of, you know, reading the press. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a politician, <laughs> and um, I think... You speak about feeling, uh, it's not about me. It, it never was about me. And um, I know a lot of um, conversations have been had in the media about um, me being the catalyst for it. And yeah, like I've said, I think it takes an idea, but then it then takes the implementation. And there are a lot of people that um, help towards that. Um, Leah Williamson, the rest of the Lionesses for supporting it. And for all of them who had um, obstacles to overcome when they were growing up and um, knowing that they didn't want those same obstacles to be in place for young girls. Um, I think at the time of the Euros, it was 63% of young girls would go to school and um, be able to play football. That means there's a massive percentage still not being able to play football More at school, like it, their yeah. male counterparts. And that's just one example of um, the way, I think, on, on a, a, a grassroots level, we need to um, yeah, make change. And that, that was what the, the campaign was about. And um, I think it was only just the start, to be honest. Um, there's a lot of work still to be done. And um, that's what these next few months are going to be about, um, well, probably next year's will be about um, continuing the conversation, continuing to keep the pressure on. And I know Ofsted will uh, help a lot in terms of um, 
auditing it and um, making sure that the, the government are putting their uh, resources to the work that they've uh, agreed to, to be doing for us. We speak about those um, tangible changes, the barriers that are going to school and not being able to play football, but there are so many more intangible barriers that we need to look at in society, one of which being that a third of women don't want to do sport or don't want to participate in sport because they don't like the way their skin looks. And uh, to me, that I see it is one, such a shame, but two, uh, such an opportunity. And uh, it, it empowers me to know that there can be changes made and that, that one third can become a third that do want to participate in sport and do feel proud and um, the uh, validate it curriculum that um, FBB are enforcing in schools um, along with Venus is um, part of that change and is part of that um, embedding it into the young consciousness uh, at school um, to then hopefully impact as their lives grow on and like you say this, the intangibles of confidence, being able to communicate um, those aspects of sport that um, I wish every young girl can have and the thought that they may, might not be able to have that because they worry about the way their skin looks um, isn't a good enough excuse and um, that's why we're looking at photos like this today and celebrating them. Well look, I know everybody appreciates the work you're doing to help break down those barriers and also look on the pitch, we hope you break that one more, one more barrier to go. We're really excited about the summer, Lotta. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you, I appreciate it too.